Aries, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-June 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in energy and see what's going on for the lovely Aries Collective. I hope you're all doing fabulous my friends. Let's shuffle it up one time see what we got for you here. My guys, what's up with Aries? Yeah, we're going to take a real quick look at this first card, then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's go. Let's rock. What do we got for Aries, please? My gods. Nice and quick. There we go. Okay, so this card is generally a card of focus. You see Little Red Riding Hood, and this does feel a little ominous generally. But to me, this is a big card of what you're focusing on. Maybe someone's focused on you here. We'll talk about it. There's a lot of layers to this. Now, before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the June subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button, that's happening right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading, let's talk about it. So in this card, you see that big bad wolf in the background, Little Red Riding Hood right here. Generally, I like to take the more optimistic approach to this card and say, hey, maybe there's something you are deadlock focused on. Something or someone that's taken up a majority of your time, your focus, your energy could be vice versa as well. Like we could take the approach that this could be someone keeping tabs or keeping an eye on you as well for a portion of you. Yeah, maybe there's someone or a situation that you're keeping extra close tabs on monitoring it for whatever reason here. I don't feel like this is like, oh, warning, red flag, sirens. We'll see what shows up in the reading itself. But when I see this, it's all about what you're focused on. Maybe spirit wants you to switch it up or it could just be a little heads up that like, hey, Someone's got eyes on here when this card shows up. So do with that what you will. As I always say, this card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. Let's get into tarot. And yeah, I'm going to get you three of these in the upright before we get the intuitive juiciness going. Let's get a good shuffle here for you, Aries. One time, my gods. What do we got for my friends? Interesting. If we get a page of swords, then we're going to have to talk a little something different here. But yeah, last week's reading, while we shuffle this all up, had karmic undertones all over the place. It was titled Karma Gets Served. And generally in readings, these karmic themes could linger for quite a while. It's all about the cycles of life, the beginnings, the endings. But I did see it quite big in last week's reading that somebody might be catching a dose, you know, getting back what they've put forth, right? Like getting back what they've put out into the universe. So let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're connected to. Let's get you three. What do we got here for Aries, please? Mid-June, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah, seven of wands here. This is a very common card for me, at least. And I'm an Aries myself, I always say it. Could be good, could be a little confrontational. We're gonna have to take a closer look at that one for sure. To me, the Seven of Wands is always a coin flip type of card where it's either you battling uphill against something or it's just your determination showing up. Okay, we have some communication showing up here. We have the Page of Pentacles communicating, talking, messages could be new things as well. Let's get you one more money showing up. Thank you. All right, yeah, we got the Eight of Pentacles here right on the bottom. And you're also going to get a bit of a bonus and it fell to the ground. So you get a little blooper reel, my Aries Collective. You got the three of pentacles that fell to the ground right after that eight of pentacles. So we have a lot of earth happening here, my friends. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes before we get the juicy intuitive stuff going. Now, at first glance, when I look down at this spread, obviously the first thing that attracts my attention is all this earthy energy. This is the complete opposite of Aries-like energy. Generally, us, as the Aries Collective, we see something, we want to do something, we do it. We're very action-oriented. Some people say we're in a bit of a rush or impatient. I don't think so. We just like to handle business. The pentacles could be delays sometimes and things like that, but there's a lot of work here. Career, money. You might be all about the pentacles, the scratch, the cheddar, the cheese, but let's go through one by one and see if we could build this whole story out because it could be various things. Position number one to seven of wands, like I said to me, is a coin flip type of card. You see that person, they're back against the wall, they got their stick and they're fighting against all those other ones. So of course this could represent conflict, 
bumping heads with people, not seeing eye to eye. So there might be a warning in regards to that. This is also a card that could feel a little trapped or cornered or bogged down. To me, it also represents test. Spirit or the universe testing you like one after another. Could be linked to that karmic energy we saw last week. You might be going through tests and lessons. But to me, this is a big card of determination. Seeing something through, working hard, nothing getting your in your way, which is a big Aries trait in my opinion. Very hard-headed, right? We're going to go for it, whatever it might be. So the Seven of Wands does encapsulate that, in my personal opinion, as an Aries and a reader. Now, as we move to the center, we have the Page of Pentacles. Always an interesting card, always a welcome addition to any spread, I would say. For a portion of you, if you're connected to an Earth sign, this could represent them when we clarify it. All pages in tarot represent learning things, so students, but they're also messengers. This one in particular could be about learning new schools new skills, really trying to take in a lot of knowledge. But this is also a card of the written message, getting one's point across. So we could be seeing talks, communication. We'll just have to see when the clarifier comes out about this. Generally a very good thing for new, especially in the pentacle suit with all this pentacle energy. Yes, there could be money related things happening, hopefully in the positive. We'll see as we progress further. Now, as we get to the back end, the Eight of Pentacles and the Three, they have a lot of similar archetypes there. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards, Diligent. So I want to say this, the fact that we have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, this is somebody who's not giving up. So there might be a task or a journey or a venture of some sort that you are extremely committed to. Like, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do this. We're going to get it done. To me, this could literally just represent work situations like your career, what you do for money, whether you're searching whether you're honing your craft in some sort of way, the Eight of Pentacles is extremely diligent, putting forth a lot of effort. Okay, so to me, it is a little action-based. It could sometimes represent, in its negative sense, somebody who's a little flaky. It could even represent workaholics as well. So we're really going to want to dive deeper on all this action. Now, when we get to the bonus card, the Three of Pentacles is a card of groups. So if we are talking about work things, this could represent co-workers, people that you have to work side by side with. This could also represent working as a team, right? Positively. So teamwork makes the dream work. If you're going through issues, situations, you might need to call in some reinforcements when this card shows up. Generally good though, but we're seeing a lot of earth, a lot of money here, which could be very good. Let's dive deeper on all of it, Aries. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, we're gonna get a good shuffle here for my friends. Yeah, the deck is like dying to talk to you. So let's shuffle it up here. What do we got for Aries, please? guides and yes this is where i go intuitive with the message which means i just tell you how it feels to me so feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot because as you know every single reading is about the reader's interpretation and i'm just giving you mine it's going on at seven of wands and yes if you're a reader yourself please feel free to play along that's why the box is here if you're feeling any messages that you want to give to aries you could drop it in the comments i don't mind at all all right seven of wands time is that seven of wands here for my friends, my people, my Aries gang? Thank you. Okay. All right, this is purely intuitive, but some of you might be very skeptical about someone or a situation. You might feel like someone is going to come along and sabotage. For some reason, the word sabotage is like popping up into my mind. Not saying like self-sabotage or anything like that. The Two of Swords is usually a card of mystery. Maybe some of you are like trying to stay prepared for some reason, like prepared for any event, prepared for any eventuality. So you might be thinking of a lot of things. Remember, we have fire, air starting off here. Complete opposite of all this earth, volatile, explosive. Now, the Two of Swords to me sometimes could represent somebody who is confused, indecisive, but this is a big card of mystery. When I see it with the Seven of Wands, it to me, it screams of someone who is like trying to stay or be very prepared. Like, hey, I'm watching. I'm watching all angles. Nothing's going to get by me. So a lot of you might be very heightened in this time. Like you might have your attention on a lot of people around you, a lot of different things. And just really vigilant. This is a very vigilant type of energy. Okay. And the word sabotage, sabotage, sabotage. It keeps popping up in my mind. So take from that what you will. I don't feel like this is self-sabotage, though. Maybe you feel like there is someone from the past or lingering around you that might be trying to get in your way. So this could be a little bit of a warning. Let's keep moving forward. I don't want to get too hung up here. I'm just getting that vigilance, which isn't always a bad thing. Let's go in on that page of pentacles, though. 
I feel like we don't need to overthink this. And for a very small portion of you, this could be some sort of unexpected or surprising issue or test or something that pops up. What's going on that page? What is that page of pentacles here? Okay, four pentacles. Okay, someone trying to control the pace, control the narrative right here. Um, another portion of you, yeah, if there's something you were in the early stages of or trying to dedicate yourself to, there's nothing going to change your mind. To me, this does feel like someone that is extremely set in their mindset, set in their ways, and they're not going to change it. For a portion of you, you might be putting your foot down with somebody here with the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Like, listen, this is what it is. This is what it's going to be. End of discussion type of en like energy I'm picking up right here. Like, all right, you can play ball or you won't. Whatever it is, like, this is... This is it. End of discussion. That's the vibe I'm picking up here, which isn't very Aries-like in my opinion. Generally, from my experience, Aries, they will entertain any conversation to a point, to an extent, until that temper gets ticked off. But there might be something, you might draw a line here with somebody or something. Like, all right, no, this is the line and it will not be crossed. Okay, so this could be about protecting yourself. Remember, I have this hypervigilance here in the beginning too. So there might be somebody you're connected to that is in this energy. Always remember that. But I'm getting this like hard-headedness, like I know I'm not switching paths. I'm not changing my mind. This is what it is. End of discussion. Straight up. Okay. So if you're having communications with somebody in this time, whether new, whether old, whatever it might be, there's a big control of the narrative and how things are going to go. Let's move over to the Eight of Pentacles. Like what you will accept, what you won't accept. That's just the vibe I'm picking up. So take from that what you will, my friends. Let's go in on that Eight of Pentacles. Then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the Shadow card. So why is this Eight of Pentacles here for Aries? Yeah, that end of discussion type of energy. That is not very Aries-like in my opinion. But everyone has limits, right? Okay, yeah, Queen of Pen Queen of Cups, pardon me, underneath this Eight of Pentacles, very good, extremely good, very positive type of energy I'm getting right here on the back end. A lot of you, this could be overflowing blessings and abundance, regardless of what's going on here, whether this is two separate situations or one thing. This Queen of Cups, if it's not a person you're connected to, a water sign, mother figure, stuff like that, underneath this Eight of Cups, this is something that makes someone happy or wanting to work in an area or field that makes you happy someone chasing their dreams chasing their happiness i'm seeing that big here on the back end so a lot of aries in this time might be extra motivated say you know what i want to work at a place or i want to do something where it doesn't feel like work where it doesn't feel like i'm being ground down into dust that's just what i'm picking up here but the possibility is still here for that even though we have like this little stubbornness little monotonous energy here this queen of cups is extremely positive because we're mixing water and all this earth here, it's blessings, it's abundance. So if that's something, if that's a state of mind you're in, if that's where you want to go, if that's what you want to do, there's big possibility for that, for some sort of work paying off here on the back end or some sort of blessing kicking in from spirit. I do like it. But this reading isn't all peaches and cream, right? Like, let's go through and do a quick little recap, Aries. I'm not feeling any treachery, but... There are some things that we want to talk about. Let's go through real quick for the shadow card. In position number one, we have the seven of wands with the two of swords. Initially, to me, this is someone very much on guard, skeptical, hyper vigilant. So a lot of you in this time, you might be watching everyone around you. Like, what are you doing? What are you up to? What are you doing? So another portion of you, this could be an unexpected test of some sort where spirits testing you whatever it might be. But moving to the center, this is where we get a little more of this confrontational type of energy. We have the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. This to me does feel like someone that is very set in their ways, stubborn about something. Whether it's a venture you're wanting to go on, something you want to attain, something you want to do, your mind might be made up here. This to me also did feel like a discussion that could literally have the words end of discussion. Like, no, this is what it's going to be. This is where the line is. This is what I'll accept. This is what I won't. Moving to the back end, this feels good because if you are in some sort of negotiations here, you might get what you want on the back end. We have the Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups in the upright. Beautiful energy of blessings here, especially if you're connected to a water sign. When I see this energy, it just feels like this water is just bringing all this earth energy to life and it feels very positive to me. So something could pay off for you or a reward might come in. 
I, I was also getting that vibe, someone thirsting to work at a place or work doing something that doesn't feel like work. Okay, and a lot of people want to do that. I mean, I would say most people do, but it's showing up here heavily. So you might be chasing that dream. Please take a screenshot of that. We're going to get you one shadow card here. Sorry I sound so stuffy, my friends. Those wildfires this week were doing a number on your boy, right? A lot of you know I'm close to NYC, right? See those pictures on social media? That's besides the point, though. Let's get into this shadow card. Let's see what's in the shadows for Aries. What do we got? <clears throat> okay, thank you. All right, Empress Energy. So this Empress in the shadows feels similar to what we have here on the back end. There's this stubbornness, but also the earthy energy is showing up once again. Now, the Empress, usually a very good card of blessings and abundance, just like that I was seeing at the end of the reading. But when we see the shadow side of her, what does she represent? Somebody that is set in their ways, stubborn. We saw it show up in the reading itself. So Spirit might be asking you to be a little bit more flexible, a little bit more understanding when this card shows up in the shadows. The Empress could also speak about issues with mother figures and stuff like that, even deep-seated ones that go back a long time. Energy of Taurus, energy of Libra as well. But when we see her, this could be spirit asking you to like let the foot off the gas a little bit or be a little more flexible. So Aries, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet though. I'm gonna give you the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced in my community tab after this week's fire and air readings. But for the month of June, I'll be giving away two copies of the beautiful Everyday Witches Tarot. It's one of my favorite decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments out of all the cards in this week's reading, which one explains how you're feeling currently right now. Which one are you vibing with? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, I'll put the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you next time.